Join Zwift and train with people from around the world. Find new friends and push your limits with the indoor cycling app where fun is fitness and fun is fast. I think f from memory, um, I lived in the middle of Bradford, just I was born in the middle of Bradford, right across the road from Bradford City Football Club, and so it was right in the centre there and um, lived not far away, so it was a difficult place from a cycling point of view, but I did like it, I was envious of seeing other lads on bikes there, something I wanted to do. Got the first bike off a chap called Ken Russell, he, he'd won the Tour of Britain, which eventually the milk race then, it was Daily Express Tour of Britain at the time, he won that in 1952. And off I went and that was it really, I was smitten. I wasn't all that keen to race in the first place if I'm honest. Um, I just liked the, I just liked being out in the countryside riding my bike. Believe it or not, you, you wouldn't believe it that nowadays because the Olympics means everything doesn't it to everyone. But in those days it didn't, you know. Um, the Olympics didn't mean much to a cyclist at all in those days because it was all amateur and pros then, wasn't it? So um, it was only amateurs could be selected for for the Olympics. And um, so your dream, as it were, then would be to ride the pro worlds, not an Olympic final where you just want to ride the pro worlds. And so I got and I got to do that. So and I just I remember thinking to myself, well, you've done it now, mate. You've got to sink or swim, you know, and um, just get on with it and work hard and get on with it. Right, so here we have um, Moth Eaton Relic of um, the 1974 National Championship I won. And the same thing again here, that was for 1980. I don't, I don't know what my strengths were really, in, in as much as I was reasonably good at everything, you know, and it was all around her. And then I can sprint, um, but I'm not the fastest. Um, and I can climb, and I'm certainly not the best climber, but I can, on, I, I can climb when it's, from a UK point of view, you know, once I start getting over two miles, I'm struggling. Um, but other than that, I, I can climb pretty well on the short, sharp ones that we have here, more strength climbs. And a uh, good time trial, and eventually when I got into them, I could ride the criteriums as well. So, yeah, I rode Paris Roubaix for Holdsworth that year in '77, and um, yeah, that was a that was a, a big eye opener to be honest. But um, again, it was a sort of race, obviously you want to do and. I just remember we got to the Arensberg forest and it dropped into the Arensberg and as it does it sort of fast into it and um, <clears throat> there were some bollards at that time anyway, there were some bollards and there was a big crash right, going into it. Everybody's wanting to get into it first as they allude to now don't they still and um, everybody wanted to get into it first, there was a big crash all over the road and before we know we were picking ourselves up and then I think there were 30 odd or something got in that front group then and, and we never saw them again, that was it, never saw them again. So I remember thinking at the end of it is, um, I need to be quick here because I get to the boat because I've got to get to work tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. well, that's a bit different to people yeah, now, isn't it? Good. You imagine that now, I'm going to tell somebody I've got to work the next day after you read Paris Rubin. 78 was that first year with Viking and um, I won a stack of races that year. That was the thing, you know, I'd won races the previous years, um, but I, I suddenly won a lot more in, in, in 78. Um, and then um, in, in the same in same 79, then when I rode the Worlds in Valkenburg. Um, yeah, I should have done better there as well. I had the legs to do better. Um, but I missed the first move and I went across, I went across to the first split with Kuiper, Henny Kuiper. And, um, we just got on at the bottom of the Kalberg and uh, like, they were just there, you know, and I tried, even with Mether, if I tried to, I got good legs and I, I tried to get across and I just didn't quite get across and they slipped back again and that was it, that they were, they were gone, I think there was, I think that was 24 of them, whatever they were, yeah, and that was it then. And uh, they split again up front, so who knows what would have happened if they got there and they didn't anyway, but um, yeah, I think I won the sprint then for the bunch. So I always felt like, it was something I'd like to do that managing the team. I always felt we could, you know, the way you talk to riders, and I felt like I could get the best out of them as a team as, as, as while I was still riding. And um, the, the young talent we have coming through, um, compared to what I knew as a 19-year-old, it's unbelievable. You know, and uh, I'm, I'm happy that they do, but the opportunities are there for them to. It's on the telly every day now, isn't it? It was never on the telly when I, I've never seen myself on telly once. You know, I don't. 
or, or pictures from it or whatever. But um, so they can they can see it, get excited from it, draw inspiration from it. Um, but also they can see how not to do things sometimes, and uh, that you should learn everything about bike racing and what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. And as a, as a new pro, you've just you, you, but you've got to learn how to do it, and because uh, the opportunity eventually will come, you know, and you've got to learn how to take it.